is October the 12th. It's about six o'clock. And we just got to the stand here in South Texas for the afternoon hunt. We managed to kill a doe this morning. And so we finally got on the board with a mature doe. And of course, if we have a mature doe come out again tonight, we're gonna shoot it also. It's 97 degrees. It is smoking hot in this blind. There's no ventilation whatsoever. So it's gonna be a hot sit. We've got about an hour and a half before dark. And so uh, we feel pretty optimistic about it. I could have done an interview this morning, but I was covered up in deer from the time it got daylight all the way to now. And the deer I came in here after was a big eight point, and uh, I just put an arrow in him, but it was a horrible shot. It was high. It was back strap. I, I don't, I don't feel good about it at all unless I hit that artery running down that back. I don't, I don't feel good about it. I, that's probably not going to be much blood. Nothing. I'm sick over that. We're gonna review the footage, give that deer some time, and see if we can. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm sick about that, man. All right, guys, we are back at the uh, feeder now, and absolutely no sign of that deer. No blood, no arrow, nothing. We searched for a long time and just uh, couldn't find him. Before we left the camp, um, I shot my bow, and of course, the deer was 29 yards, and I, I, I was dialed in at the camp had been dialed in so I couldn't figure out what happened and then just for I don't know investigation purposes I backed up at 30 yards and put my 40 yard pin on 
the vitals of the deer or just below the vitals actually because I was anticipating a duck and sure enough when I put my 40 yard pin there and let it loose it hit the exact same spot uh, where it would have hit that deer this morning so not to make any kind of excuses whatsoever because that's an elementary move but my pins are so close together on my sight and I really believe that what happened is I used my 40 yard pin on that deer. There's no reason other than that. I didn't hit anything. So I think that's what happened. Um, hopefully that deer is gonna survive and live, which I'm sure he is. I've seen hits like that before and they live, but Ron will get him on camera here in a few weeks, uh, probably. He's gonna, he's gonna heal up for a little while. We had a kid come in here a couple years ago that shot one about like that. And uh, it was like a month before they saw that deer, but he did live. He just kind of was nursing his wounds for a while. So anyway, you got to keep rolling. I'm, I'm disappointed by that, but I believe the deer's going to live. And um, yeah, we'll be watching for buzzards and stuff, though, for the next couple of days. But anyway, hated it ended like that, but that's the story of the big white eight so far. Hey everybody, I appreciate you guys watching um, the video today. Um, I didn't want to leave you hanging about that deer. I know some of you are probably wondering if that deer lived or if that deer died. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the footage of that deer from that particular point, but somebody did kill that deer. That deer lived. He showed back up three days later at the same spot in front of the same camera in front of the same stand. So it was basically just a flesh wound. Um, you never want that to happen to you whenever you're out there deer hunting, but you guys know as well as I do, if you hunt long enough, uh, those sort of things are gonna happen. You don't ever like it, but it does happen sometimes. And unfortunately it happened to me. I really had high hopes of getting back out there to Texas later on in the season and that deer being alive and me, and me being able to shoot it and get it and kind of capping off that story. Uh, unfortunately one of Ron's friends was able to come out there and shoot it before I got the chance so but I'm thankful that the deer lived and somebody else was able to successfully harvest him um, but anyway just wanted to kind of let you guys know the end of the story with that wide eight point um, but I want to say this also I really appreciate you guys watching the videos um, I know that most of you that follow the channel know that a lot of my hunting stuff goes to Midwest Whitetail and uh, they use all of my footage first and then I put it over on this channel as well and so uh, if you don't mind go check out their channel as well Midwest Whitetail um, you can look for the Southeast regional shows that's where my stuff will be uh, but I encourage you to check out all the other stuff as well and then come back on this channel also and uh, you'll be able to see me do some deer hunts catfish noodling fishing telling stories gospel centered stuff it'll just be a fun time so anyway like subscribe share this video share this channel with your friends i really appreciate it god bless you and have an awesome day